We gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, one of the huge images at the facade of the Manila Cathedral belongs to St. Rose of Lima. And when you go out after the Mass, you may take a look. Look up, and there is a crown of roses in the image. St. Rose of Lima, whose feasts we celebrate today, is the secondary patroness of the Philippines. Let us ask her prayers and intercession that she may protect with her prayers our beloved country. To prepare ourselves for this Eucharistic celebration, let us ask God's pardon and mercy for our sins. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to the Father and to one another. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, you set St. Rose of Lima on fire with your love so that secluded from the world in the austerity of a life of penance, she might give herself to you alone. Grant, we pray, that through her intercession, we may tread the paths of life on earth and drink at the stream of your delights in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The hand of the Lord came upon me and led me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me in the center of the plain, which was now filled with bones. He made me walk among the bones in every direction, so that I saw how many they were on the surface of the plain, how dry they were. He asked me, Son of man, can these bones come to life? I answered, Lord God, you alone know that. Then he said to me, Prophesy over these bones and say to them, Dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God to these bones, See, I will bring spirit into you, that you may come to life. I will put sinews upon you. 
make flesh grow over you, cover you with skin, and put spirit in you, so that you may come to life and know that I am the Lord. I prophesied as I had been told, and even as I was prophesying, I heard a noise. It was a rattling as the bones came together, bone joining bone. I saw the sinews and the flesh came, come upon them, and the skin covered them, but there was no spirit in them. Then the Lord said to me, Prophesy to the spirit, prophesy, son of man, and say to the spirit, Thus says the Lord God, From the four winds come, O spirit, and breathe into this slain, that they may come to life. I prophesied as he told me, and the spirit came into them. They came alive and stood upright, a vast army. Then he said to me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. They have been saying, Our bones are dried up, our hope is lost, and we are cut off. Therefore, prophesy and say to them, Thus says the Lord God, O oh, my people, I will open your graves and have you rise from them and bring you back to the land of Israel. Then you shall know that I am the Lord when I open your graves and have you rise from them, O oh, my people. I will put my spirit in you that you may live and I will settle you upon your land Thus you shall know that I am the Lord. I have promised, and I will do it, says the Lord. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give thanks to the Lord. His love is everlasting. Give thanks to the Lord. His love is everlasting. Let the redeemed of the Lord say, those whom he has redeemed from the hand of the foe and gathered from the lands, from the east and the west, from the north and the south. Give thanks to the Lord, his love is everlasting. They went astray in the desert wilderness, the way to uninhabited city they did not find. Hungry and thirsty, their life was wasting away within them. Give thanks to the Lord, his love is everlasting. They cried to the Lord in their distress. From their straits he rescued them, and he led them by a direct way to reach an inhabited city. Give thanks to the Lord, his love is everlasting. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his mercy and his wondrous deeds to the children of men because he satisfied the longing soul and filled the hungry soul with good things. Give thanks to the Lord, his love is everlasting. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, 
they gathered together and one of them, a scholar of the law, tested him by asking, Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning. We all want to be happy. That is why one of our goals in life is the pursuit of happiness. But aside from being happy, we should also strive to be holy. We should all strive to be saints. So basically, there are two goals in life, to be happy and to be holy. Yun ang dapat nating asamin, ang maging masaya at maging banal. My dear sisters and brothers, today in the gospel, the Lord is offering us the means, the means, the way to happiness and holiness. And that is the way of love. Kung gusto mong masaya, magmahal ka. Kung gusto mong maging banal, magmahal ka. Pansinin ninyo, if you look back at your life, when were you most happy? Hindi ba when you know that you have just gone to confession and you have reconciled yourself with God, that you have been forgiven by God, that you and God are friends again. Hindi ba ibang pakiramdam? At kapag tayo din ay tumulong sa ating kapwa, dumuko tayo sa ating bulsa, it binigay natin sa isang nangangailangan, hindi ba iba ang pakiramdam? Kung gusto nating maging masaya at maging banal, mabuhay tayo sa pag-ibig. I think that is the basic means for us to achieve happiness and holiness. Hindi yung sa accumulation ng maraming mga gamit. Some people think that the way to happiness is rich food, big houses, several cars. No. That is a fallacy. That is false. Today, I repeat, the Lord is leading us the way, showing us the way. The way to happiness and holiness is the way of love. And that is how St. Rose of Lima lived her life. She remained a virgin. And though she wanted to be a nun, her father did not permit her. And so, and so she joined the Third Order of St. Dominic. That is why St. Rose of Lima is also considered a Dominican saint. She died at the age of 31. Bata, 31. But that, those 31 years she spent not for herself, but for God and her neighbors. And now, she is enjoying happiness with God. 
she is holy. Kaya nga, mga ginigili kong kapatid, ang daan sa tunay na kaligayahan at kabanalan ay ang daan ng pag-ibig. Let us pray for one another and let us ask the intercession of St. Rose of Lima that we may take the road to happiness and holiness, the way of love. Amen. Please stand. Let our prayers show that we love the Lord God with all our heart, with all our soul, mind, and strength. Let our prayers show that we love our neighbors as we respect and reverence ourselves. To every petition, our response would be, Let us grow in your way of love, Lord. Let us grow in your way of love, Lord that the Church, through its leaders, may bring the faithful to a deeper knowledge and love of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Let, Let us grow in, in your way, way of love, of love Lord. Lord, that obedience to God's law may guide those who govern us. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us, Let us grow in, in your love, way of love, love, Lord, that our homes may be places of God's presence where everyone is taught to care and respect one another as a child of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Let, Let us, us grow, grow in your, in your way, way of, of love, Lord. Lord, that by the gentle touch of the Spirit, we may have a deeper compassion for the sick and the elderly. Let us pray to the Lord. Let, Let us, us grow in your in way of love, Lord, Lord, that Christ may bring to his eternal kingdom our departed loved ones. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us grow in your way of love, Lord. Lord God, you reveal your will to us through your commandments. As we bring these petitions before you, give us the grace to live out these commandments. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of our hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. <clears throat> Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. As we proclaim your wonders, O Lord, in the Virgin Blessed Rose of Lima, we humbly implore your Majesty that as her merits are pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, 
Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence, by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end, we acclaim. Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, including Rose of Lima, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and save from all distress as we await the blessed hope 
and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our many sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. Let us pray. Renewed by partaking of this divine gift, we pray, O Lord our God, that by the example of the blessed Rose of Lima, bearing in our body the death of Jesus, we may strive to hold fast to you alone, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Oh, oh, oh.
Jesus.